welcome to our exciting new season 2016-17 for the Semper Opera Ballet, consisting of 12 different programs, including three premieres, two of which are world premieres, nine pieces from our existing repertoire, and to date one of the most prestigious tours for our company. Continuing with my artistic plan, our premiere seasonally will include one existing work, a world premiere, a full-length narrative, and focus on one iconic choreographer as well as one of today's young choreographers. The first premiere of our season on November 5th, 2016 will be a new full-length production of Don Quixote. I will now take on the task of creating a completely new narrative together with the wonderfully talented opera director and designer Patrick Kinmonth and our dramaturg Stefan Ulrich, we have created a brand new story that is inspired by Miguel Cervantes' The Ingenious Gentleman Don Quixote de la Mancha. The production will be in two acts and focus predominantly on the main character Don Quixote and his eternal search for the human embodiment of his divine Doña Dulcinea. Misha Alagrast, a conductor that already has an established relationship with our orchestra, will be responsible for this new arrangement. Together, we have chosen the most beautiful music from Minkus to make up the majority of Act 1, and Act 2 will be predominantly the gorgeous music of Manuel de Falla, one of Spain's most distinguished 20th century composers. The symphonic music is said to represent the spirit of Spain at its purest, and will surely bring a wonderful new dimension to this production. Patrick Kinmont will be additionally responsible for the costume and set design, and Marco Filibeck, lighting designer of La Scala Opera House, will be responsible for the lighting design. Our second premiere on May 20, 2017, Forgotten Land, takes its title from a signature work of our featured iconic choreographer this season, Yuzhi Kilian. This evening opens with Balanchine's Symphony in C, which he created for the Paris Opera Ballet and was originally titled Palais Cristal. Followed by Yuri Kilian's Forgotten Land, a ballet that explores the relationship of lost lovers through different lands and times. We close this program with William Forsyth's Quintet, which he created as a love letter to his dying wife. Until now, I feel like we have presented only one side of William Forsyth. I feel it is equally important for us to expose both our dancers and audience to a very different emotional dimension of his work. In addition to our premieres on the main stage of our opera house, we will be opening a new performance venue called Semper II. The space will include both opera and ballet productions, focusing mainly on the development of our younger audience. We will premiere a new creation on November 25th, 2016, by Joseph Hernandez, which currently has a working title, Exit Oracle. The theme of this creation will be the meaning of home. There will be nine pieces of our existing repertoire returning, Nordic Lights, which we will present for the last time in this format, including three works from Swedish choreographers Pontus Lidberg, Alexander Eklund, and Johan Inger. Our premiere program from this season, Theme and Variations, including George Balanchine's Theme and Variations, William Forsyth's New Suite, and Matt's ex, She Is Black. Several narrative ballets will be returning, including our premiere from this season, Kenneth McMillan's touching love story, Man. During the Christmas season, of course, the Nutcracker will be returning. In January, our unique production
production of Romeo and Juliet that was created for our company in 2014 by Belgian choreographer Stane Salise will be returning to our stage. We will also present Swan Lake, which is one of the most famous classical ballets and definitely one of the favorites of our public. We will bring back a cow, Alexander Eklund's world premiere created for our company in March 2016. This full-length abstract evening is definitely a significant addition to our exclusive repertoire. We will close the season with one of our company's signature works, Giselle, created by David Dawson. After presenting our company for the past two seasons in Paris, initially at Théâtre de la Ville and last season at Théâtre Champs-Élysées, we have been invited by Benjamin Milpied to perform at the Paris Opera Garnier with William Forsyth's masterpiece, Impressing the Tsar. This exclusive work has a special resonance for Paris because in the middle, somewhat elevated, the second part of Impressing the Tsar was created on the Paris Opera Ballet. I am also very pleased to announce that after performing as a guest artist with us for the premiere of Manon last season, Melissa Hamilton will be joining our company full-time for next season as a principal dancer. Dimitri Semyonov will return as a resident guest artist, and his sister Paulina Semyonova will also continue a relationship with our company as a resident guest artist. 